Hello and welcome to another Audacious Devotion. Thank you so much for joining us this morning or for catching up later on in the day or week. Um, my name is Ruth and my husband Ola and I are part of the super amazing North location where the fabulous pastors Joel and Becky Weaver and the rest of the team are doing such an incredible job and it's just really um it's a privilege and an honor to just serve um with these amazing people um before i go into the passage um the bible passage that i'll be sharing from today which is where um which is what the lord has been encouraging me with in this current season of my life that i am in um i just like to give you a little bit of background. Um, so recently, um, I have been struggling um, with my physical health. Like most days I find myself in a lot of discomfort, a lot of pain, and a lot of nights I, I suffer with insomnia, I struggle to sleep, which makes um, looking after three very active and young children and also at working full time a bit of a challenge sometimes. And um, we've also recently moved, uh, we moved a few weeks ago. And um, this house was actually um, a massive building project. And when we embarked on this building project at first, um, I think Ola and I must have thought, you know what, life is not stressful or challenging enough. Let's just throw something else, you know, into the mix. When we started it, it was like, you know, exciting, but nothing um, prepared us for the stress and the disappointments that we were going to face along the way. Uh, we were disappointed by tradesmen so many times, um, but some not turning up, some taking money, doing the job halfway and just not returning. Um, so we found ourselves moving into this house that still hadn't been fully completed. So we had like areas of the house with loads of boxes and um, we could hardly walk straight, um, you know, because there was so much stuff. And the only times, the only opportunities that Olu and I had to, um, you know, to put things away, to unpack, to tidy up, were in the evenings when, you know, after work and after putting the kids to bed. So I remember this evening walking into this room at full of stuff and I, and I felt really overwhelmed. I felt it was, it was just a mess. It was chaotic. It was, you know, it was full of boxes, full of cardboards, full of, um, you know, um, leftover building materials. And, and then this evening, I was in a lot of pain. I was exhausted. And I remember feeling a little bit sorry for myself, just thinking, Lord, this is such a mess. This is what my life feels like at the moment. This room is what my life looks like at the moment. Chaotic. And I could hear, and I just heard, sorry, the voice of the Lord in my heart, just saying, I am in this chaos. I'm in the I'm in this mess. Um and I just literally broke down in tears and just left everything I was doing. Um just went to bed. And in bed I cried, you know, Lord, when are you going to heal me? And I prayed and I remember God just leading me uh, to um Genesis chapter one, which is where I'm going to be sharing from today. Uh, you know, the story of creation that I have read so many times before, but then just saw it in a, in a different light um, at, at this time. And I'm going to be reading from Genesis uh, one verses one to three. And it reads, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. So you have a picture in this preformed earth um, of 
chaos and and just a mess. The Bible says it was void. The Bible says it was dark. And um, the Bible says it was empty. It was just a mess. But the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Now, hover in this passage um, doesn't just mean movement. I know some translations say, you know, the, 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 the Spirit of God was moving over the waters. But it doesn't just mean movement. Um, the original Hebrew word in, in this passage, in this, sorry, in this verse, in, in verse 2, is rakaf. And it's used in the same context um, in Deuteronomy um, 32. And I'm going to read um, the first part of uh, verse 9, which says, For the Lord's portion is his people. And verse 11 says, Like an eagle that stirs up its nest and, hover, and hovers over its young, that spreads its wings to catch them and carries them on its pinions. So in Genesis 1, you have this picture of the Holy Spirit, you know, um, and the only way I can describe it is like a hen, you know, brooding over her eggs, you know, um, incubating them, sitting on them, preparing them for life, preparing them for the words, let there be light, let there be trees, let there be vegetation, let there be all these. The Spirit of God actually preparing the earth for creation. So back to our world, I don't know what chaos you might be you might be going through at the moment or the darkness or how dark it might feel for you at the moment. Is it marital chaos? Is it a child that has walked away from home? Is it, you know, whatever it is, um I, or do you feel like me sometimes that you know you're in this dark room and you're trying to make your way out and every time you try you stumble you stumble over obstacles um and you just can't make your way to the exit now i i've learned to just sit in the corner of that room and say you know you might feel dark at the moment i might not have my health at the moment or like, or if, if it's in your case, my child might be away from the Lord right now. Or my finances might not be sorted. Or my job might be in trouble. My career, you know, my dreams might be unfulfilled at the moment. But I just give it over to you and just sit in the corner of that room and just say, Holy Spirit, hover over me. And just let him wrap his arms over you. Let him sing over you. Let him keep you warm. And even though your prayers, you might not have seen the manifestation of, of the answer to your prayer. But then you're experiencing his presence. You are sitting in his presence. I want you to know that the spirit of God still hovers over chaos. And when we pray Spirit of God, hover over me. Holy Spirit, hover over me. We're not just saying, you know, move over me or just, you know, um, flow over me like Casper, the friendly ghost. We're saying, stay with me. Let your feathers cover me, God. Like in Psalms 91, where it says, he who dwells, verse 1 says, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 4 says, he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield. And whilst you're in this darkness and whilst you're, you know, struggling and going through all this, you know, the, the, the chaos of life, you can still experience his peace. The Bible calls it the peace that surpasses all understanding. You're saying, I am in pain right now. It doesn't make sense, but I am still at peace. Whilst my child is making, hopefully making their way back home, making their way back to the Lord, I am, I am choosing 
to just stay under his wings. I want you to know that in God's world, that chaos is, there is order brought into chaos, that light overcomes darkness. Sometimes we pray and we wait. Sometimes we have to wait for, for days, for months, even years for, um, for our prayers to be answered. God would have heard our prayers, but sometimes it takes, it takes long for us, for us to see the physical manifestation. But whilst you're still waiting, let us choose to ask the Holy Spirit to just hover over us and just let him sing over you. And whilst he's incubating you, whilst his feathers is over you, like a hen never leaves her eggs, he will never leave you nor forsake you and just rest in his presence. And whilst we're awaiting the light to come, whilst we're awaiting the let there be light and there was light, just rest in his presence. And as you go through the story, if you go through the story of creation, you will find that the night always precedes the day. The night, the darkness always precedes the light. In the story of creation, in the book of Genesis 1, you will find that he says there was evening and there was morning, day one. And there was evening and there was mor morning, day two. I want to encourage you today. That your dawn is on its way. Your morning is on its way. And the Lord, your circumstances will respond to his voice that says, let there be light in Jesus name. So I'm just praying that as you go about your day today, as you go about your business today, as you go about whatever you do today, I am praying that you feel his presence hovering over you, brooding over you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.